Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about setting up a key to allow you to log into a remote SSH server without typing in your password. And this is all on a Mac. And I'll put a link in the description to my SSH playlist. I have some videos on doing things on Windows also. You can also find a link to the video where I talk about logging into SSH without using a password. So what you want to do is open up a terminal. And then first I'll just try connecting to the server I want to connect to. So I'll type SSH, Rick at, and I'll type the IP address. I'll hit enter. And since I have this to log in without password, we log right into the server. So I'll hit exit. And then I'll press the up arrow and that will show me the last command that was run. So I'll highlight this with my mouse and I'll right click and I'll say copy. And then I will, I'll clear my screen here. And then I'll type CD space desktop and you want that D capital. Then I'll type nano space, um, say remote, unders remote underscore server underscore SSH dot command. And I'll hit enter. And then I'll type paste and I'll put the SSH command in there. And then I'll type control O to save and control X to exit. So we'll see over here on the desktop now, we have this remote server SSH command. If I um, double click on this, you'll see it says the file uh, cannot be executed because you do not have the privileges. And that's true. So we'll hit OK. We'll go back to our terminal here and we'll type chmod space plus x space and then we'll have the name of this file. So the plus x makes this executable. So I'll hit enter here. Now if we double click on this, you'll see it opens up our terminal. Right like that. So as with saving your password, um, this doesn't make it any you know, better or worse as far as just saving your password, but you know, there are, are potential security implications here. Um, if you're using these saved keys, it's a good idea to use File Vault on your Mac. That way your whole system is encrypted. Um, you know, if you're working in an office and this is your desktop, and say you, you know, go to the water cooler and leave it up, if you have a link on your desktop, um, someone could just walk up and double click it real quick and get into the system. It may be better to hide this somewhere, um, you know, in a folder uh, for different accessibility. So that's how you make a desktop shortcut to an SSH server. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.